Hey guys, Balkan Arctic here, and in this tutorial, we're going to be doing some Dynamo. So, a lot of you have been asking for Dynamo tutorials, and today I'm going to do one of them. So, this will be just a simple tutorial, so even somebody who never used the Dynamo can kind of follow it and learn something new and hopefully get interested in Dynamo. And we're going to be doing this simple exercise where we're going to be creating this kind of a grid of circles and then the size of each circle will be determined by the placement of this single point that we can kind of move around and change the whole the whole grid of circles just by moving this point around. But before I get start, started, I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial, it helps me out a lot. And if you haven't already, I suggest you subscribe because I make tutorials like this every day. Okay, so let's get started. Here I am in Revit. And to start off Dynamo, you need to go to the Manage tab. And if you have a newer version of Revit, like 2017 and newer, you're going to have Dynamo installed with Revit. And if you have an earlier version, you would need to in download it and install it as a separate plugin. Okay, so this is a visual programming program. So I'm just going to start it over here just by clicking on Dynamo. And you need to have Revit running to start Dynamo. And let me just maximize this screen, okay. And here I'm just going to go to a new project. And this is what we get. So this is how the interface basically looks like. And now I'm just going to be creating this, this, this graph that's going to create our grid of circles. So the first thing we need to start off with is we need a circle. So we need some sort of a node that creates a circle. So I'm just going to go here and type in circle by center point radius. So just and here we get it. So this and we just click on it and this is what we have. And as you can see here immediately on screen we're going to have a small circle appear. Okay so we need a bunch more elements. Distance too. So let's try that. And this one is the one we need. So that's another node that we're going to be using. Then the next one is point by coordinates. So And here we have it and we need two of these so just click twice to get two of these and then we need some numbers and some number sliders so I'm just going to type in number and then I need two of these and two number sliders as well so I'm just going to place number sliders over here and these numbers up here Okay, so now we need to connect all of this together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect the number sliders here to X and Y. These numbers again to X and Y. Then this here will go to geometry. This point will go to other. And this will go here to center point, And this will go to radius. So what do we have now? Now I'm just going to switch here from viewing the graph to viewing geometry just so I can spin around and maybe zoom in a little bit so just to see what we have over here maybe watch it like this okay and let's go back to the graph and place it over here for example okay so what we're going to do now is going to play around with this now this is set to automatic and Usually you, you don't use automatically, usually you're going to switch to manual and that's what I'm going to do just in a moment. But now I just want to show you how to move this around. So, and being in automatic mode, this will be, will be able to change this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start moving these number sliders and they are changing the coordinates of this point over here. So if I select this, that means that is this point over here. And if I try to start changing this slider this is the X slider and it just starts moving this point along this X axis and as you can see as it moves the point the actual circle is the, 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 the diameter of the circle is determined by the placement of this point so if we change the coordinates of the point 
this is by y axis, so it's going in this direction, it changes the actual diameter of the circle. So it's really cool. You're just using this point and you're using the sliders to move that point and it's changing the whole circle around. Okay, so once we've done that, I'm just going to zoom out a little bit for this geometry. Let's go back to graph. Here I can zoom in a bit. And now we're going to add some complexity to this. So I'm just going to search here for a code block. Here we have a code block and let's just place it here. And let's do a number number slider. Another number slider. Yeah. Okay. And here we have a number slider. And I'm just going to switch now to manual just to make sure that the the dynamo doesn't crash because when dynamo crashes then Revit crashes and when Revit crashes well well then that's not good so I'm just going to type in here for the the code X divided by Y and when you click here you can see now we have here an X and Y input and here we have just the formula and this is the output so what I'm going to do is I'm going to input this double to X this number slider to Y and this here output to radius. So what's th this is going to do basically it's going to change the the circle so it's not really determined by the distance but it's determined by the distance divided by the formula that we have here. So in this case we have some radius and we're dividing it by 4.1 and we're feeding that to radius. Okay so once we have that this can now allow us to do our all, all, all of the other circles that we need to place here in this diagram. So to add other circles we need to add some more nodes. So we need a sequence node. So I'm just going to start typing in sequence. So here we have a sequence node and let's just place it here and let's make this number let's go here and let's create a number another number so number here we go and we need a flatten node so that's this okay so we have this flat node and let's just maybe rearrange these things a bit better kinda like that okay this looks good so now let's start connecting all of these nodes. So now with these numbers, I'm going to connect one to start, one to amount, and one to step. And then I'm going to change this sequence and just go here and here. So we're going to both X and Y. And for these numbers, let's just change this one to, I don't know, something like 12 and this to, I don't know, 3. And then let's move on over here so for flatten this will go now into flatten and flatten will now go into geometry and from here from flatten you need to go to center point okay so something changed now and if we go here and hit run we get something like this. So this isn't really a grid of circles, this is a line of circles. And how you change this from a line into a grid, you just go here to flatten and you need to change something. So you just right click and you've got this lacing. So you just go cross product, you hit that, you hit run. Wait a second. Yeah, instead of flatten, you need to go to by coordinates, select it and go lacing cross product and then you hit run and then this is what we get. And if I select this point by coordinates, that means we have this point over here. Now I'm going to do something very risky and switch this to automatic. And then I'm going to go here into this 3D preview and then I can select this here and basically move around this here dot and it will actually change the size of all the circles. So if I go like this you can see the dimensions of circles are changing or the radius is changing determined by this attractor point which is basically this dot over here. So you can kind of play around and create a pattern that you would like to use. Now this is great if you want to create some facades or something like that. It's, it's an amazing way to just run through a bunch of design options really quickly. 
Okay, so that's it for this simple Dynamo project. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like and share this video and tell me in the comments below. Do you find this helpful and would you like to see more Dynamo tutorials in the future? Okay, that's pretty much it for this video and I will see you tomorrow.